Today we will read Crab and Whale by Mark Pallies and Christian Kerr, illustrated by James Cotto. Let's see what happened with the whale and the crab. Ooh, look at that. There's a crab. And what's next to the crab? There's a starfish. Look, there's a bird. Let's see what happened. One day, crab was walking home. The tide was out and the sun shimmered on the sandy beach. Wow! Ooh! Let's see what happened. Crab had lots of legs. <gasps> Many legs, right? And all those legs meant Crab could run really fast. Look how fast he can go! Zoom! And then what happened? But today, like most days, Crab walked slowly, listening carefully to the sound each leg made as it touched the sand. So he was walking slowly and listening to the sound his legs made on the sand. Isn't that nice? And then Crab noticed something. What do you think he noticed? What, did, what is he looking at? Hmm, can you guess? Let's see. Foot! Oh! That is my favorite animal. A whale washed up by the waves. <gasps> wow! Look at the crab flying up high. <gasps> crab raced over and pushed and pulled and yanked and heaved and tugged and shoved. But it was no good. Whale was stuck. Aww. He looks really sad and Crab is trying to help. Then Crab realized there was another way to help. So he was thinking, hmm, how can I help the whale? That's really nice of him, right? I'll stay with you until the tide comes in, said Crab, giving Whale's rubbery skin a gentle stroke. That's so nice of him, right? But Whale still looked worried. You know what always makes me feel better, said Crab, blowing out a deep breath. Maybe you should try that. So he told him, he should take a deep breath to feel better. We do that in yoga and meditation, right? It really helps. Wow! <laughs> a gentle breath. Crab laugh and then what happened? Whoosh! The whale took a deep breath and it made the crab fly away. And then Crab said, Try this. Listen to the sound of the sea. Now whisper back to it. So he told him to listen to the sound of the sea and of the waves. Breathe in. Then breathe out. Making the sound of the sea. Isn't that lovely and calming? 
whale whispered to the sea and became more and more relaxed with each passing breath. Oh, what's happening? I think the sun is setting. As the sun slowly set, they counted the colors in the sky. That cloud looks just like an elephant, said Crab. Whale didn't say anything. She thought the cloud looked like a teapot. Can you see the cloud? I love the stars, said Crab. She stretched up as far as she could. I feel as though I could eat them. Mmm, fizzy. <laughs> and then, Whale yawned. Oh, so did Crab. And they both fell asleep. Wow. Next day, the cold sea tickled Whale's tail, waking her up. As Whale wriggled with excitement, she started to sink into the soft sand. Keep still, said Crab, but Whale wouldn't keep still. Where is Crab? Oh, the sand is covering her, right? Wow. Feel the water rising up your body. Notice every splush, splish and splash, said Crab. And then Whale concentrated. The water crept slowly up her dry skin. Then finally, she was free. So Crab's advice worked. Crab blew out a long breath and stretched each one of her eight tired legs. She was really tired. She looks tired now. Helping Whale had been hard work, but it made Crab happy. She looks tired, but at the same time, she's very happy because she could help Whale, right? Last whale. Wow. And, and Crab is waving to her. And then Crab said, You're welcome! <laughs> they both look happy, right? scurried off home with her legs ticking gently on the sand tick 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 it was going to be a good day the end <laughs>